Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome to my uh, Python tutorials. For this video, I'll be showing you how I made um, a program for this question. It's a past exam question and it says write Python program that allows a taxi company to calculate how much taxi fare should be. The program should allow the user to enter the journey distance in kilometers. No validation is required, but I actually put my own validation. Allow the user to enter the number of passengers and calculate the taxi fare by first of all charging two pounds for every passenger regardless of distance then charging a further one pound fifty for every kilometer regardless of how many passengers there are output the final taxi fare so you should use mean, meaningful valuable names correct syntax and indentation for in your answer okay so the grid below this is a seven mark question the grid below you know they in, in, the, in the exam, they would expect you to actually write the code, okay? To write the code to the, the best way you can. I managed to code this uh, in Python, so let's go to it. Now, this is how it runs. If you click on play, uh, please enter the distance, 5 point, let's say, 756 kilometers. How many passengers? Let's say one passenger. And that's your fare, okay? Now, if you make a mistake, for example, you did five point PKK, whatever, I don't know, it was something. Okay, that's an incorrect input. Then it takes you back, okay, it gives you another chance. They say 78 kilometers, and then the passengers, you write uh, 0 0.5. Again, you've made a mistake, you can't have half a passenger. Okay, seven, and then passengers, you write letter O. Again, it's an incorrect input. Okay, it can catch the errors. All right, okay. Now I'm gonna do the commenting now. Okay, so import time, this should allow us. So I'm just gonna start typing the comment. It allows the program to run the timer and clear the screen, that line 12 there. Okay, then this is a function. It asks for the user input and works out the time. Okay, so try doing this. Except says if the above code failed, it's gonna show an error. Okay, so now we say uh, variable distance. Okay, uh, records is a uh, input of the distance they'll be traveling okay so how much distance are you going to cover and this is in form of float float ie uh, format is it expects something like 0, 0.00 something like that okay with decimal places because distance cannot be may not be an integer type okay however passengers okay this one will now these are variables what variables do is to record uh, data okay now they said we need to use the correct uh, variable names now distance as you can see it's going to record distance okay that's been it's going to be covered by the taxi and uh, passengers it's going to record the number the number of passengers okay passengers will record the number of passengers record the and the format should be in integer okay okay one or let's say zero yeah or two you can't have 0 0.1 passenger or 5.6 passengers uh, this one is of two pounds okay per passenger okay two pounds for each passenger and then that's recorded recorded in fair okay and it's in format integer okay and then mileage mileage is gonna work out the distance covered times amount per kilometer okay so uh, mileage records uh, times 0 uh, 1.5 yeah distance covered times 1.5 okay then uh, final fare okay the final fare records the total uh, 
total amount that's what that line 26 does now we are ready to uh, display the final fare okay we've worked out how much to charge them okay and now we need to show them the final fare now if all this fails let's say they typed letters instead of numbers or whatever they left left some empty gaps or whatever made a mistake then it's gonna show this error message uh, display I'll abbreviate that okay and then clear the screen but otherwise the screen is gonna be you know populated or congested with all these text so it's best to clear it and refresh okay clear screen ie refresh okay if it refreshes you made a mistake then it's gonna bring you back it's, it's, this is where the recursion comes in so it's still gonna call back this function taxi so that we'll try again okay so that we'll try again okay a function now obviously a function won't run unless you call it in the first place okay so call the function taxi uh, to start the program okay this is how you answer this question you must always try your best if you have enough time now for example if you have to code anything it's best to always put comments on it it allows you to clear, clearly show that you know what you're doing and you can go back to a certain code and see read what it's supposed to be doing and what it's not doing if there's an error all right so i hope you enjoy this and as you can see here i can just play it five three and that's my fare 13 pound 50 your fare is 13 50 okay so that's that's what it is um let me see if i round it off to three significant figures and then play it again uh three five still gonna show 14 50. okay anyway yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, please. And um, like my video, share it. Thank you. Enjoy your day.